Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the hangman out here first. So I know that somebody has to sacrifice something or they got to release something. Definitely somebody's seeing it in a different light at the moment. You have the five of swords here. Something that could be giving somebody a headache. Somebody has to release some type of like, like stop arguing about something, right? Like it's giving the energy of like, just stop arguing about this. It's not, it's no point of arguing. That's what I'm seeing. Like, let it go. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to change anything. It's literally somebody like giving themselves a headache because they keep, they give into something. They have to sacrifice it. They have to let it go. You have to see what somebody is trying to do. It feels like somebody trying to pull you into an argument or some shit like that. Somebody trying to get information. Somebody trying to get in your mind. So they start shit with you or something like that. It's like they're trying to figure out something like, are you about to release them? Are you about to leave? Then you got the fool card out here. This person's trying to figure out your next move. This person's trying to figure out where you going or where you want to go. So they start arguments or some shit like that. Maybe to piss you off. King of Wands energy here. Does somebody feel like you're about to be with somebody else? You're about to have a passionate relationship with somebody or you're about to be the one that's free and single and ready to mingle. It's something like that. Like somebody's releasing it and somebody's leaving. Somebody could be traveling. Somebody's looking at this shit for real. They're like, you know what? Why am I even dealing with your mouth? Why am I even dealing with your conflict? Why am I, why am I dealing with this headache that you like, what do you want? And then you look, Ace of Cups. Somebody's leave. Somebody about to leave. I don't feel the energy of somebody playing right now. Somebody's not playing. Nine of Swords here. And that's what I think. I think somebody already knows this. I think somebody already knows that you're with somebody or you're dating somebody or you're, you're leaving them. They already know. They already know. And it probably gives them a headache and they project it onto you and try to figure out what you're doing. You have the fourth house here. There could be family involved. Okay. Something to do with your roots here. You got Scorpio energy and you got the sun card. Now, I don't, I don't really like this that much. I'm just going to be real honest. I feel like there's something going on in a family. Like something that shouldn't be going on. I don't know what it is. It could be even something, you know, maybe just somebody just has power over everything or it could just be as simple as that. I'm hoping it's not much deeper than that. But you know what? To be honest, you know that a lot of shit goes on in, in people's family. Let's just be real. A lot of things go on. And I'm kind of seeing that here. Now, I don't know how terrible. I don't know how bad. I don't know how deep. But whatever this is, I think somebody's getting the gist of it. I think somebody's seeing it because it's just like, no, this shit is giving me a headache now. I got to go. Oh, my God. I'm getting a headache. I'm starting to I'm starting to remember a reading. I don't know if I did it today or yesterday. Oh my God. And then it's confirmation. I'm starting to feel like I think there was okay, the last reading, I remember there was like a nine of sword. And I was like, oh my God, somebody's gonna say something that they don't want to say. And I was like, I don't know if it's a lie or if it's true, but this shit is bizarre. Now I'm starting to feel like, damn, this is something that somebody feels like is happening underneath underneath their nose. And like I don't want to say this shit, but it's like, I hope it's not a child. I hope it's not to a child. I hope it's not somebody doing something to a child and somebody realizing it. And like, I hope for the sake of the child, I hope that it's not that. Because I don't want to talk about that shit up here. Okay. But I'm feeling that it's something along those lines. Like somebody's catching on to the shit and it's like, 
they can't take it. They can't. It's it's something like you ever thought about like you can't even think about this shit because it's just so like I can't even think about it because I'm gonna get mad. It's like that. And somebody's seeing it and they're like, hell no. And I'm about to I don't know if you're about to go to somebody else or I don't know if you are going to be single and you're going to leave or you're going to be fired up like a motherfucker and you're going to leave and you're going to go after new love like fuck this old shit or whatever the hell you was looking at or you was in or whatever like forget that that's what somebody's going to be in i really think that something is being exposed though i don't like that energy queen of wands here And you see you got the Queen of Wands here, but you got the King of Wands here. Sometimes couples turn into competitors. Okay? Or they turn into like, I'm going to do better than you or I'm going to do this and you're not going to win. It's, it turns into that kind of thing. And I'm getting that kind of energy. Like, why do you want to be in a relationship with somebody that is competing with you or somebody that is clearly using energy to control or they're using their energy they're exerting their energy or something like that and it's just like these are two people that like this is that kind of energy where it's like i don't need this shit i can just go i can just leave i don't need this shit it's giving that kind of energy like nobody wants to hear this okay i'm not seeing that anybody is stuck i'm seeing that somebody is free is all outside they can they can leave when they want to leave and it's just like, why is somebody dealing with the shit? Mm, four of wands here next to this queen of wands. This queen of wands want things to be like together. They want things to be put together or they want the family. If there is a family, they want the family to stay together or they want to stay where they are or something like that. Maybe somebody wants to stay in a home. They don't want to leave. It could even be like, maybe this Queen of Wands wants somebody's support. And it's like this King of Wands is like, nope, I got to go. Because you're getting on my nerves. Like, you want me to stay in this household and you want to get on my damn nerves. You got the Page of Pentacles here. Hmm. Is this a new job? Is this the Queen of Wands that's going to have to get a job? There's somebody here that's going to have to get a job. I mean, if they want to keep this house, if they want to keep something here, they're going to have to get a job. You got the four of pentacles here. It makes me feel like this king of wands is the one that was holding things together. This king of wands has accumulated a lot or they have something for themselves or something like that. And this page of wands is giving me somebody is going to get a job. Somebody needs to get a job. I mean, if you're going to be giving people headaches and shit, you're going to have to get a job. It's something like that. Or you're going to have to contribute. You got the high priestess energy here. Hmm. Now, I feel like somebody, somebody felt like they knew the future or they were doing something for the future. Or they were getting something ready for the future or something like that. Hmm. Like somebody thought that you were going to be their cash cow or something like that. They thought things would be solid or something like that. But they don't they didn't know or they don't know that somebody's about to have a complete new beginning here. But they thought they had something in the bag here. You got the six of cups here. This is definitely nostalgic. This is definitely giving me past life energy here like maybe somebody did this same thing they did this same thing in a past life except in this life somebody's somebody's getting a new beginning and somebody's pl playing that story over again but it's like you got to play that shit by yourself you got to play that shit by yourself somebody has to get a job you want to play that same story you have to get the job now because somebody's leaving somebody's not going to be dealing with this Whatever this headache is, I don't know if somebody's argumentative. I don't know if this is the type of person, there's a conflict with everything. I don't know if this is the type of person that like, damn, like even when they come in the door, their energy is just like off or their energy is just whack. Like somebody's giving it up. 
Somebody's giving it up. You got the five of cups here. Yeah. Somebody's giving it up. This is like a, even a fear. It could be like, it's a fear that somebody's letting this go. It's a fear for somebody to think that you're going to love somebody else or something like that. It's like this relationship is being lost. There's nothing that nobody can do about this. Like, hmm. You have the chariot energy out here twice. You got the chariot here. You got the chariot here. It's like, I feel like this queen of wands wants to go in the car with you. But you already have the full car. You already have the new beginning. You already have something that's completely changing. A whole new story. A whole new seed. You're going in your own journey. Your own car. This I don't know what car this person getting into. But they're not getting into your car. Like this is also cancer energy here. Wait a minute, let me look at something real quick. The Cancer, I mean, uh, Chariot is the only major arcana out here, uh, other than High Priestess. Hmm. Maybe somebody always knew they was going to leave, or somebody always seen this coming. They just didn't know that we wasn't leaving together. You have the Nine of Wands here. This person's shit is not going to move. Like this person is going to be heated. This person is going to be heated when they find out you're leaving. Magician energy here. Yeah. They're going to have to come up with something. This magician is on top of the page of pentacles here. They're going to have to come up with something. I don't know if this is involving a child. I don't know if this is involving a new job that somebody needs to get. But this is what they need to manifest. They're not going to be able to go with you. They're going to have to manifest like a new job or a new career. or They're going to have to go to school. They're going to have to do something here. But they're not going to be able to go with you. They're not. This person's plan, I'm sorry to say, this person's plan did not work. This person's plan only got them to the point where now you have to do something yourself or now you have to make it yourself now you have to like <sighs> oh shit well yep that concludes that part right there and the master card is out here you got the king of wands again king of wands right here king of wands right here this person it got to do their own thing they have to go their own direction. It's something that I think that somebody has been avoiding, but it's like you have all the tools to make this happen. You have all of the tools to make this happen. So if this Queen of Wands don't make it happen, it's their fault. It's their fault. You got to use the tools that God gave you. You got the Five of Pentacles here. Oh, what is this? Now, is this going in the direction of healing or more damage here? Oh, no, it looks like someone's relationship is hurt or somebody you see. And that's the thing. It's because of money, all because of money, all because of money. This ain't no damn love. This is somebody that feels slighted because they can't get something out of you. Somebody feels slighted because they're not part of your journey. OK, it's like that's what's in between. It's not even cups. That's what's in between the relationship right here is the five of Pentacles. That's what separates them is is money. That's silly. That's very, very silly. It's as if this person always had intentions on this. Like maybe this person thought they would never have to work as long as you are around. That's silly. That's what I'm talking about. That's silly. That's selfish. Okay. To even think like that. What's this at the bottom? You got the Knight of Wands here at the bottom. This is somebody like. This Knight of Wands is the energy of somebody that needs to keep going. They need to keep fighting. They need to keep going forward on their purpose. This is not somebody. This is like, okay, this Queen of Wands thought that you were their purpose. You think that something out there is your purpose. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is the Fool card. This is somebody going on a new journey. Like, it's your purpose is bigger than a person. But this Queen of Wands does not see it like that. This Queen of Wands was depending 
on you. And it's like, I feel like somebody, I don't know if it's this Queen of Wands seeing it differently, or I don't know if it's this King of Wands that's seeing this Queen of Wands for who they are. Okay? But this Queen of Wands is going to have to go on that journey. The Chariot is going that way, and the King of Wands Chariot is going the other way. That's what I'm seeing here. And I'm seeing that this is somebody's worst fear, that they lost some type of connection or they feel like they lost out on like money or something like that it's just money <sighs> the king of pentacles here you see they want to go with you they're being blocked they're being blocked they got to go their own direction here the moon card this person is going to think about you though this person is still very pulled towards your energy still very pulled towards your energy still feels like there's something deeper or there's something more that they're supposed to have or something like that it's like they need to start looking at their path that's what they need to do that's all i'm saying you got another chariot here they they will always want to come with you or where you are And they probably don't even know why. You got the Seven of Swords here. Hmm. Let me get something with this Seven of Swords. You got the Eight of Cups here. It's like, okay, I'm going to be real honest, okay? I feel like somebody feels like they're not going to get better than you. Like they're not going to get anybody better than you or something like that. And I don't, I hate to say it like that, but I really think somebody feel like that. I really think somebody feels like you are what they want and who they want or something like that. And it's like, they don't want to do this. They don't want to go through this journey. They don't want to work. They don't want to have to do something by themselves. They want to go where you're going. And it's almost like, I feel like somebody would even go as far as to follow you. Or try to make a way to get to where you are or something like that. You have the King of Swords here. Hmm. And the Page of Pentacles. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody that's definitely standing in their truth. About the truth speaking their truth but it's like it looks like a new opportunity a new job or a new like a new direction in life like a like it's something that was not planned or something like that or it was something that this queen of wands was not aware of you got the tower card at the bottom here let me get one more what is this one two three one two three oh that's seven okay we can get one more and then we got the knight of pinnacle page of pinnacle to the knight of pinnacle so somebody is like growing or somebody's like maturing in whatever it is that they're doing it could be something where somebody is speaking or somebody is like like something about the truth or like a truth fighter a truth teller something whistleblower could be a lawyer something it's something where somebody is like speaking or telling the truth about something and it's like it is growing or it is getting bigger or it's going to get bigger or something like that and it's like somebody wants to be or they will want to be with you or something it's like somebody is just extremely pulled towards your energy with this moon card and a chariot I feel like they're still pulled towards you or they will still be pulled towards you even though they have to get in this chariot and do what they got to do. If this is a new job, it's somebody here that has to stand on their own two feet. This Queen of Wands got to stand on her own two feet here. Okay? Like doing, doing little things to try to like... To try to keep somebody or to try to manipulate or to try to change something, it's not going to work here. The tower car is still at the bottom. Yeah, this is something that's that's this was very unplanned. This is very it could even be random. 
But if somebody here that's this King of Wands for the King of Wands here, they accepted something. They saw something. It got on their nerves. It's like, OK, boom, I got I got the picture. They got to get on their journey. They got to go. They got to keep searching, you know, for that love. But the Queen of Wands over here is a whole nother story. The Queen of Wands over here wants something to be steady. They want something to be like close knit or complete. They want something to be formed. They don't want to work. They don't, it's like, they don't have nothing to bring. I'm so sorry. They don't have nothing to bring to the table with this Page of Wands energy. They don't got really nothing to bring here. And they want to get in your car and go where you're going. And that's not what's happening. What they have to do is they have to make a way for themselves. You know how when people break up like in a relationship, okay, you're, you're in a relationship, maybe you was married, I don't know. But like if there was one person that was doing everything and there was one person that was not, when when that relationship breaks, that person that was not doing anything, they will have to hold their own. Some people think that is an attack. Like, oh, I, I didn't have to work, so I'm angry that I have to work. I'm angry at this person because I have to work. And that's that's odd. I just have to be honest. That's odd. You have to do things yourself sometimes, right? You can't be mad because you got to work now. You can't be mad because you have to figure out what you want or who you are. You can't be mad about that. All I know is somebody is really pulled towards somebody. I cannot deny that. Okay? Somebody is really strongly pulled towards somebody and they want to go where they are going. Let me get an angel message here. And even when I was talking about this fourth house Scorpio and the sun, it might not be the situation where something was going on, let's say like with a child, because I hope not. Oh, my God. Like, please don't even bring that over here. But it is something where somebody thought they had power in this relationship. They saw something. Somebody, I think it was this King of Wands. They witnessed something. They saw something about this Queen of Wands that was like, nope, you're not about to control me. You're not about to have power over me. What you're about to do is you're about to get on your feet or you're about to do something for yourself or you're about to make a way for yourself. That's what I saw. Let me get something with this angel message here. Blessings and abundance here. And it says trust the universe. So as long as this queen of, of wands puts in the energy and they go the direction that they're supposed to go, then they'll be fine. But sitting here worried about where the queen, I mean, where the king of wands is going and what they're doing. Somebody's really going to take themselves off of their own journey. OK, there are people that focus on other people for years. They focus on them for years, for years, for years. And it's like all that time that they spent focusing on somebody else, they could have been spending focusing on themselves here. <sighs> I'm going to leave this right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it's how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.